A New Age of Missile Warfare The RS-28 Sarmat Intercontinental Ballistic Missile, ICBM, is one of the most powerful weapons ever created by humankind. Developed by Russia to replace the aging R-36M, known as Satan by NATO, the RS-28 Sarmat, NATO reporting name, SSX-30 Satan II, is considered one of the deadliest strategic weapons in existence. The missile forms a core component of Russia's nuclear deterrent, demonstrating the nation's commitment to maintaining its status as a global superpower with unmatched military capabilities. While the development of ICBMs dates back to the Cold War, technological advancements in recent decades have resulted in missiles with greater range, speed, accuracy, and lethality. The RS-28 Sarmat represents the pinnacle of these developments, combining vast destructive power with cutting-edge countermeasures designed to overcome modern missile defense systems. The missile's potential for destruction, its global reach, and its capability to evade interception make it one of the scariest human-made weapons today. This article delves into the specifics of the RS-28 Sarmat, exploring its design, operational capabilities, strategic importance, and the broader geopolitical consequences of its deployment. 1. The Evolution of Russia's Strategic Missile Arsenal A. The Legacy of the R-36M, Satan Before discussing the RS-28 Sarmat, it's important to understand its predecessor, the R-36M, also known as the SS-18 Satan. Developed during the height of the Cold War, the R-36M was introduced in the 1970s as part of the Soviet Union's effort to maintain nuclear parity with the United States. The R-36M was a massive missile, capable of carrying up to 10 nuclear warheads, each with the ability to target separate locations independently. With a range of 11,000 to 16,000 kilometers, the R-36M could strike targets almost anywhere in the world. It was feared for its MIRV, multiple independently targetable reentry vehicles, capabilities, which allowed it to overwhelm missile defenses by sending multiple warheads to different targets. Additionally, the Satan missile was equipped with advanced countermeasures, including decoys and penetration aids, designed to bypass missile defense systems. B. The need for an upgrade. While the R-36M was a formidable weapon, its design and technology began to show signs of aging by the 2000s. The global political landscape had shifted, and advancements in missile defense systems, such as the U.S. ground-based mid-course defense, GMD, and Aegis ballistic missile defense systems, posed potential challenges to the effectiveness of the older generation of Russian ICBMs. Additionally, the START, Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty, agreements between Russia and the U.S. necessitated the modernization of the Russian nuclear arsenal. In response, Russia began developing the RS-28 Sarmat in the early 2010s to replace the R-36M and ensure the continued effectiveness of its nuclear deterrent. The new missile would retain the advantages of the R-36M while incorporating cutting-edge technology to make it virtually invulnerable to interception. 2. Design and Capabilities of the RS-28 Sarmat The RS-28 Sarmat represents a significant leap forward in missile technology, combining extreme destructive power with a suite of advanced features designed to overcome modern missile defense systems. Several key factors contribute to its fearsome reputation. A. Unmatched Destructive Power the RS-28 Sarmat can carry up to 10 heavy nuclear warheads or 15 lighter warheads, all of which are independently targetable. This MIRV capability allows the missile to target multiple locations with a single launch, maximizing its destructive potential. In theory, the RS-28 Sarmat could devastate entire regions or critical infrastructure hubs in a matter of minutes. Each of the missile's warheads has a yield estimated to be between 500 kilotons and 1 megaton. For comparison, the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima had a yield of approximately 15 kilotons. This means that a single RS-28 Sarmat warhead is up to 66 times more powerful than the bomb that destroyed Hiroshima. The missile's ability to carry up to 15 warheads vastly multiplies this destructive potential making it capable of wiping out large metropolitan areas or critical military installations with a single strike. 
In addition to nuclear warheads, the RS-28 Sarmat is designed to carry decoys and penetration aids designed to confuse and evade missile defense systems, making it even more difficult to intercept. B. Long Range and Global Reach One of the key characteristics of the RS-28 Sarmat is its incredible range, which is estimated to be around 18,000 kilometers, 11,000 miles. This range allows the missile to strike virtually any location on Earth, including targets deep within the United States, Europe, or Asia. The RS-28 Sarmat's range far exceeds that of many other ICBMs, making it a truly global weapon. What makes the missile even more dangerous is its ability to take non-standard flight paths. Unlike older ICBMs, which typically follow a predictable ballistic trajectory, the RS-28 Sarmat can take unconventional flight routes, such as traveling over the South Pole. This ability to fly over different parts of the globe makes it harder for missile defense systems, particularly those stationed in the Northern Hemisphere, to intercept the missile. C. Hypersonic Speed the RS-28 Sarmat is designed to travel at hypersonic speeds, which makes it exceptionally difficult to track and intercept. Hypersonic missiles travel at speeds greater than Mach 5, approximately 6,174 km per hour or 3,836 miles per hour. The RS-28 Sarmat is reported to reach speeds of up to Mach 20, 24,695 kilometers per hour or 15,320 miles per hour during the final phase of its flight. At these speeds, even advanced missile defense systems have limited reaction time to detect, track, and attempt to intercept the missile. The hypersonic nature of the RS-28 Sarmat adds an extra layer of unpredictability as its flight path can be altered mid-course, further complicating interception efforts. D. Advanced Countermeasures and Penetration Aids One of the most important features of the RS-28 Sarmat is its ability to penetrate modern missile defense systems. While the United States and its allies have invested heavily in missile defense technology, the RS-28 Sarmat has been specifically designed to counter these efforts. The missile is equipped with a suite of advanced countermeasures, including decoys, jamming devices, and penetration aids designed to overwhelm and confuse missile defense radars. In addition to these passive countermeasures, the RS-28 Sarmat is designed to carry hypersonic glide vehicles, HGVs, such as the Avangard. HGVs are capable of maneuvering at extremely high speeds, making them difficult to track and intercept. The combination of MIRV warheads, decoys, and HGVs makes the RS-28 Sarmat one of the most difficult missiles to defend against. E. High Survivability and Rapid Deployment The RS-28 Sarmat is designed for rapid deployment and has a high degree of survivability. It can be launched from both silo-based and mobile platforms, making it difficult for adversaries to target. In the event of an attack, the missile can be launched quickly, ensuring that Russia maintains a retaliatory strike capability even if its missile silos come under attack. Moreover, the missile's ability to be launched from various platforms means that it can be deployed across Russia's vast territory, making it harder for potential adversaries to preemptively target all of Russia's launch sites.